What's up guys, this is Merc Music, and today I'm going to be reacting to Modern Warfare 2 Steam Reviews. The official worldwide live reveal event for Modern Warfare 3 in Warzone is going to be happening on Thursday. I'm going to be streaming it on YouTube, and if you don't subscribe and turn on notifications right now, Grogu's going to get it. Wait. What am I saying? If I try to go up against Grogu, he's just going to kill me with his magic or whatever, so yeah. Regardless of whoever Grogu decides to kill... <laughs> I can still guarantee you that we're going to be reacting to Modern Warfare 2 reviews on Steam. So let's get it. It's a really good game. That was written by God. OG COD. Very good. Thumbs up. My balls itch! Here I will leave the cat. Friends who pass by can pet it and give it a thumbs up and awards. Yeah, this cat on Steam has more awards than I've ever won in my life. Can't play single player. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, yeah. yeah, for the most part, Modern Warfare 2 on Steam has some really positive reviews. But this is the wrong game. Because instead of reacting to Steam reviews for Modern Warfare 2, we're going to be reacting to Steam reviews for Modern Warfare 2. Wow, this is a completely different story. Not only are the recent reviews overwhelmingly negative, but all of the reviews for this game are overwhelmingly negative. You know we gotta check it out, man. Let's see what the people are saying. These MS really thought they can hide. This game is made by the most evil and greedy scum on the planet. We all thought it couldn't get worse than EA, but we were wrong. So much greedy and little effort into the actual game, instead banking off horrible collabs that ruin the original vibe of the game. It's honestly disgusting. The Activision Call of Duty Empire has to fall, just like Dyson Battlefield. Anti-Activision action now. This review is written by Colonel Doggo, and he's a colonel, so he's got a pretty high ranking. Lots of hacking going on, matchmaking is absolute garbage, and they're trying very, very hard to be like Fortnite. Completely alienated the COD player base with the endless money grab. Amen, Dank Taurus. Imagine having to create a new game page because the launch was so bad to have the review stats physically can't be any better than mixed LMFAO. This is some funky English, but I think I get what they're saying. It kind of sounds like Modern Warfare 2 on Steam might have had some mixed reviews, so they recreated the Steam page, and now it just got even worse. Oh, we have a positive review. It just says, good game. Care to elaborate on how and why? Oh, we have another positive review. Love the campaign. I've played six times because I really... <laughs> <laughs> because I really enjoyed it. I'm sorry. I actually think the Modern Warfare 2 campaign's okay. Moving on. The rickety multiplayer microtransaction ad heart, 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 is what gives this game an overwhelmingly negative score. Would buy but play any other multiplayer game than this. Now, I will say I have replayed the Modern Warfare 2 2022 campaign one more time, and it was okay. Not the best Call of Duty campaign ever, but it's not bad either. The multiplayer is not worth the $70. Nobody actually plays it. They just sit and jerk off with one hand and play with the other. <laughs> Splooge-based matchmaking is what's going on there. Campaign good. Multiplayer bad. Yeah, I feel like this is a simplified version of that review from earlier. These morons really removed their old page for Modern Warfare 2 just to avoid the negative reviews and talk of the older COD games being better. I swear to God, Activision Blizz is ran by masochists. What does that mean? Now, just as a heads up, this next person that's leaving a review has received the game for free, so obviously they're going to be very biased and have a positive opinion. This game can be fun sometime, or a good time to pass time, or hear people... <laughs> if you kill them ever. Other than that, game is... Can I have clown awards? Thanks. Yeah, they also gave this game a thumbs down. And they successfully got three clown skin reward things. Why make a whole new Steam page for this shit? <laughs> Soul is garbage. Don't spend a cent or a minute of your time on it. This guy has no time played on the game. This game sucks! Now, to be perfectly honest, I don't know if that's actually how everyone feels about the most recent Modern Warfare 2. I know we all have our own opinions and criticisms about the game, but I'm not exactly sure what's going on with the whole, like, Modern Warfare 2 Steam page changing. Like, it does seem kind of weird that they might have tried to change the Steam page to avoid having mixed reviews or negative reviews for the game because it's clearly backfired here. They now have overwhelmingly negative reviews instead of having really all that much positive things going on for this game, which is just crazy, man. I did want to point out Overwatch 2 as well, though, because it is also an Activision Blizzard game, and it's been an absolute shit show with Overwatch 2. You see, Modern Warfare 2 only has roughly a thousand overwhelmingly negative reviews, which doesn't seem that bad, especially in comparison to Overwatch 2, which has 120 1,000 overwhelmingly negative reviews. This is just insane, man. I mean, we're not gonna go through Overwatch's reviews because that's a separate thing, different game. But man, oh man, people are dragging Overwatch 2 on Steam through the mud. I mean, look, this guy's giving a cake recipe and he's getting so many awards for it. That's just so dumb. I love it though. It's just so funny. Let's look up Modern Warfare 2 on Xbox. Let's see what people are saying there. We could be in a similar situation to the Infinite Warfare reveal trailer, which got dislike bombed by the entire internet on YouTube. That was insane. Oh, yo, dude, it's got a two point six on Xbox. These reviews are actually from like kind of around the launch of the game. You know, weirdly enough, even though there's a lot of negative reviews, it's weirdly kind of reassuring to see people have, you know, similar opinions, at least to what I feel about the game. It seems like
like people overall kind of vibe with the campaign and they like the story and they want to see where it's going to continue to go, but they're just disappointed with multiplayer and Warzone. Definitely robbed of my hard-earned 75 bucks. You can polish this turd of a game. Doesn't change the fact it's still a turd. <laughs> Yo, don't go after the devs though. I mean, the devs are just making the game for Activision. Bad game. Use your money to buy food, please. <laughs> oh, I love it, dude. I could have bought multiple Taco Bell feasts with my money instead of this game. I'm disappointed. Same dirty toilet, different turd. I love how a lot of the Xbox reviews refer to the game as a turd. Big Boy Nut gives it a one star, says, gone forever. You cooked yourself. Like a chicken. I don't know where I was going with that. Pumpkin Face is talking about PC hackers, but this is an Xbox review from the console. Yeah, just turn off crossplay. I mean, yeah. Waste of money. Just go buy the original Modern Warfare 2 from 2009. I mean, yeah. Just do that. You can find physical copies of the original Modern Warfare 2 for like five to 10 bucks. It's insane. It actually is a better use of your money. Now let's see the reviews on PlayStation. Do they not have reviews on PlayStation? The audience rating on Google is also a 1.9. Dude, this is crazy. Wait, on Target, it has a 4.8? What? Oh my God, it has such a positive review on Target. It's got a 4.8 out of five. We got to read the reviews. Got this for my 16 year old daughter for her birthday and she hasn't stopped playing it. She says it's her favorite one. Very pleased. This mom also bought it for her daughter. <laughs> Basically pre order the game, bought it the day before, and picked it up the next day. Easy pickup, no issues. They gave it a 5 out of 5 for sound quality, but a 4 out of 5 for graphics. A lasting appeal rating of 5 out of 5. Dude, what game are you playing? Ain't no way this is for the new Modern Warfare 2. I mean, they even spelled it like the original right here. The best COD ever? I'll give it 5 out of 5 stars. Wait, I think that's it for the reviews. Everything else is just like a 5 star rating. That seems kind of sus. Yes! Now we're gonna check the GameStop reviews. Power to the players. We gotta see what they gotta say. I don't think their website is working. How about Best Buy? <laughs> Top mentions. It's for children. Modern Fortnite 2. Easily one of the best first person shooter games out there. <laughs> With easy drop menus and the ability to take your existing Fortnite experience to another level when you choose third-person maps. Bro, this has to be a troll review. There's no way. Absolutely no way you're giving this a five-star review on Best Buy saying that the menus are good. The Hulu menus. Gross! <laughs> this guy gave it a five-star review just titled Call of Duty. If you're a Call of Duty fan, it's same concept. Like an iPhone, just an updated version. <laughs> I don't know if it's necessarily a good thing that we're comparing Call of Duty to iPhones, but there it is. We got to see all the customer reviews. This is great. That game damaged UPS. This was eight months ago and they owned it for a week. From the first day that I buy these game, I have problem. The update are too long and it take at least two hours. And when you start playing the game online, these massage started, came out on the screen. Dev error 11557 and restart the game without saving the game every hour that I'm playing. Now the same massage is came out when I'm playing the story mode. Let's see what their picture has. And we click on it and yep, they got the dev error. Now to be perfectly honest, I think this person might have had a stroke while writing this review, but I'm pretty sure a lot of people actually had that dev error and it was like really messing things up for a while. They still gave it a three star though. I mean, that's impressive. This game is exceptional in graphics, game skill levels and overall participation. That's not a sentence! This review is not even a proper sentence and they just have a picture of the default, like, box art. That is so weird. Five star review, COD! The game is super fun, I recommend it to kids of all ages. Please no. Oh, this isn't good, man. Oh my. Return to greatness. Excellent COD, my favorite since Ghost. <laughs> it is easy to get into multiplayer, although it is challenging against great online players. The graphics, menus, and gameplay flow well. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, man. It feels like we're playing two completely different games. I mean, they have the picture of the new Modern Warfare 2 here. This is the kind of review that would make sense for the original Modern Warfare 2. A five-star review that says, Great definition. Awesome game. Lots of action and... Great definition. Very fun to play. <laughs> this game has many story settings through the fictional lands. Ghost and Soap are two great characters in this game. The online version has revised weapons and improved maps. This version allows even more ways to eliminate your enemies with an enhanced kill streak option. I'm really looking forward to continuing with this game. What what do you mean enhanced kill streak option? <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> These are pretty much the same kill streaks we've had over and over again. Like what? We have a five star review that says good. It was posted a week ago. They've had this game for nine months. Good game, all day fun game. Friends, my favorite is playing. No, I would not recommend this to a friend. <laughs> Make it make sense, man. Why are you giving it a five-star review if you're not gonna recommend it to your friends? But in the same breath, you're saying it's a good game all day, fun game, friend my favorite is playing. Okay, guys, I think I'm losing way too many brain cells reading the Best Buy reviews. This is amazing. Bought as a Christmas gift, he loved the game, can't wait to play. I would recommend this to a friend. One-star rating. <laughs>
<laughs> awful, 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 awful. You know, going into this video, I really only planned to react to the Steam reviews for Modern Warfare 2 because I saw that basically all of them were negative and I wasn't exactly sure why. It does kind of seem like the game has been review bombed because they like changed the Steam page and people feel like they're trying to evade negative reviews, which I do understand. But man, this was actually really eye-opening. Like I didn't realize how bad the reviews really were on other places as well, except for like Best Buy and Target, which still just cracks me up, man. It's too funny. But regardless of whether or not Modern Warfare 2 is or isn't being review bombed on Steam, if you enjoy playing the game and you have fun playing it, that's totally fine. That's your own opinion. I think it's safe to say that when it comes to a franchise like Call of Duty, which has gone through so many changes and different types of gameplay and different studios over the years, it's going to be impossible for us to all agree on what we think is good and bad. But one thing I think we can all agree on is that these reviews for the game, no matter where you're looking, are just totally unhinged. And I love it. But with that being said, thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me react to Modern Warfare 2 Steam reviews. Again, I will be live streaming the Modern Warfare 3 reveal event on Warzone, so make sure you're subscribed to the channel and you have notifications on so you don't miss the stream. And with that being said, I really do hope you guys enjoyed this this video if you guys did it and you want to see me react to more steam reviews for games make sure to drop a like i'll see you guys later